Okay, so this video is going to be about taking off the um, throttle body so I can get to the IA um, CV air control valve that's underneath here. And I've been in there before, but I'm going to take it off again because I want to retest it. The um, So what you'll have to do is you have to take off your vacuum lines you have to unplug your TPS connector. You'll have to take off your air tubes here. And you'll have to take off your uh, throttle cable over here. And then there's also two water lines underneath here. You can't see them with this air tube here. But I'll show them later. Yeah, but you'll have to take off that under underneath. And then there's just four bolts that hold it. These are, um, I think they're 12 millimeter bolts. And then before you do it, make sure you have a gasket, new gaskets. Um, this is the gasket. Just goes between the throttle body and the plenum. Get one of these. These are cheap. This is the gasket that um, goes between the air valve and the throttle body down below. And it's um, this is a gasket is actually um, it's like an um, O-ring almost in its shape. It's a little silicon shaped gasket. So the last time I took mine out I just put it back in there. Um, I was able to get it to go back into shape by putting it in the refrigerator and just reforming it while it was cold kind of. And then I put just a little bit of sealant on it because I knew I was going to take it back anyway. So take it back out anyway. So now I'll replace that with the real gasket. And then the only other tool I suggest people always have is a magnetic pickup tool because you'll just drop stuff down in here and there's really no way to get down into some in between some of this shrouding without taking it off. Okay, so I'll show you pictures as I go along. So this is with the um, air tube off. And you can see the water lines in are here. There's one here and there's one over here. And um, when you before you take these off, it's a good idea if you put something over your electrical wiring in here. Um, I'm going to unhook my TPS because I have to to get the throttle body off. Some people some people also unhook their battery at the same time, but I usually just uh, will cover it up because I'm going to uh, reset all this after I reset the computer after I get it all back together. And I'm usually pretty careful working around the battery there. So, next step then is um, I've taken the vacuum lines loose. These little ones are easy to put back if you haven't ever moved them because they're just, these always lay flat across here. They just all right go, fold down and go right back where they're supposed to. These two are two different sizes here, so they won't fit in the other position. The um, if you have lost these or moved them around, the easy way to tell is um, look on your smog diagram up here in your hood if you have a smog vehicle and um, it'll show you where the routing for these tubes and then it'll show you where the other end of the tube comes out so if you just blow in this end of the tube the air should come out where you think the routing is actually going to and that will show you if you have a Directly routed to the right spot or not. Okay, I'm going to continue taking things apart. So this is a step I do, just um, something I personally do before I take off these water lines. I cover up everything that's electrical. I've unhooked the TPS up here, so I cover up the connectors and the wires, uh, just so I don't get any antifreeze in there. And then the other thing I want to remember, anytime you're taking off anything with antifreeze, is to have some to put back before you take the car apart, because you're not going to be able to drive it very far to get some otherwise. Um, these tubes, the way they are, the way they're made, um, they're form tubes, and they um, actually come up higher. This tube here comes up higher than uh, the thermostat housing here. So once this water drains out, um, no more should come out here if you take this end of the tube and stick it up here someplace. Then no more will drain out. This one will just drain out what's in the body here. And um, 
I've never had anything just continue coming out of here, but you can always plug this up with something. Um, just find um, something that fits in there beforehand. And the last time I had this apart, I ran um, flexible wiring through here, completely through from here into where the engine block, um, and released anything that was in there. And I did the same thing with these, which goes down to the bottom of the engine block, and I couldn't find anything restricting the flow in there. So now I'm going to take off some more. When I take off these type of uh, fittings, I usually use these little bent nose pliers because then you can um, get a hold of all three of the fittings at one time and slide them along. Um, these in here, sometimes it's easier if you have a larger pair of vice grips or something with a big flat area because you, you have to grip all three of these prongs at the same time in order to move them. Okay, so the now I have the upper, I have one water line off, that's this one here, and I've just raised it up so it's higher than the thermostat, so it's not leaking anymore. And then this one, I happen to have a little vacuum cap that I stuck on there, but um, you can even just pinch this off with a pair of vice groups. My um, meter's going weird pink color on me here. This camera's an old camera. So I'm going to continue taking things off here. Okay, so I've um, I also took off the short little air supply tube that went to this uh, resonator. Your car might not even have that, and then plugged it with a piece of paper towel just to keep things from getting in there. And then to get the uh, throttle cable off, you you want to rotate the throttle. This is the butterfly. It rotates your butterfly inside your. Uh, It'll rotate, that's what's rotating your throttle actually. But you'll rotate that up and then on the, you'll have to um, mm -hmm. down here pull this pin just out this way. It's just like a bicycle cable. So you just want to pull a little slug on the end outward and that'll release the cable then. And then once you get the cable out, you can just take it and hook it behind the little. Um, if you don't have, this is a manual transmission, so it doesn't have an extra cable here. I just hook mine in here to keep it up out of the way while I'm taking the rest of the throttle body off. So this, there's four bolts on here. Well, two, three bolts and one nut. The nut's over on this side. And this bolt is way back in a hole on this side, so you have to reach back in there with an extension to get to it. Um, and then just take them off in a, Yours might be really difficult the first time because uh, they might be stuck just from age. Um, they, I remember when I first took mine off, they just snapped like they were, I thought the bolt was snapping in half, but it was just snapping apart from the aluminum. So, uh, always take these type on aluminum, always take them off in a cross pattern, don't, don't go around, but try to take them off and retighten them in a cross pattern. So mine, because I've had it off recently, it just basically snapped easily loose from the plenum, the throttle body and the plenum here. Yours, if you haven't done it before, this gasket might be stuck pretty good on here. And even pieces of it might come off, so you'll have to clean it all off when you reapply it. This is, this is a new gasket. And I bought another new gasket because I'm not going to put even a used gasket back on here. Um, and then at this point, start thinking about that this is going to be open to your entire engine here, so um, don't let anything fall inside this plenum here. Right now, this butterfly is protecting except for the hole in the side, but don't let anything fall inside here because it's a direct path to your engine. So anytime you take something like this apart with multiple belts, it's a good idea to make up with just a little piece of cardboard and put the bolts in there in the relation to the item that you're taking them out of. That way you can get it back in the same hole they came out of. Okay, so you can see this is already separated here. So this is where I was saying make sure nothing falls inside here. And then this, because I've already had this up before, I know that um, 
the thro throttle uh, dash pot here is going to hit on this resonator. So the bolt where the nut was, which is down here, um, you can actually rotate this up and get it around this. Um, I can't do it with one hand, but you can rotate it up and get it over this part here without taking this off. Yeah, so I'm going to do that now. And this is with the throttle body off. And so in the intake here, I actually, because I had this saw previously, I cleaned a lot of carbon out of here. It was This was probably close to an eighth inch thick of carbon in here. And tried to get as much as I could out of the inside without taking the whole plenum off. And then this is where I say you want to cut, put, have something and stick it in here. Keep, just keep, um, especially if you live where there's squirrels or something, you want to keep this holes closed up with a rag or something. And then this is the throttle body. And again, I cleaned all this before previously off the back of here, so it's all been pretty well clean but what I want to do the reason I'm taking this off of course is to remove this again which is the IAC the air control valve here um, last time I had it off you can see there's a new screw in here I had to replace that because being normal as things are all three of these came out really easily and this one was stuck and I had to destroy it to get it out and Ace Hardware has um, screws with this type of thread, this fine thread, fine um, metric threads. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, take this off. This is under here. This is the gasket that's going to go back here eventually. And then under, also I want to mention these came from a company called um, LC Engineering. Uh, which you can order over the internet from and they're really good the prices and they're really helpful on um, getting things shipped to you at a reasonable price um, I know their computer their online com shipping computer told me that my items would be like uh, double the price in shipping but when I phoned the guy he said that was just the computer makes a mistake like that so he was able to cut my shipping price in more than more than in half um, so this is the gasket that's eventually going to go back on here then, this little o-ring gasket that's under, it's under here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off.